and we're going to type in here seconds to wait, which we defined earlier, as you can see. Um, okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this is what uh, makes the code routine so powerful because we can control. So when the 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 code reader, the compiler, comes along here and it reads each line, it's going to hit this line and it's going to wait for however long we've defined before it continues doing the code. So after it's waited, we're going to go. <coughs> sorry, excuse me here. Um, we're going to go to the renderer of the object, and then the material. See, dot defines a property. So renderer is the object because it's object oriented. So dot, and then the the material is the property, and then the property of the material is the main texture, which is going to be equal to frames, which we defined earlier. It's that array that has all the textures in it, and um, put this little square thing in here, and we're going to put in current frame. So that now, what's going to happen now is when it reads this line, it's going to go to the main texture of the material of the object, and it's going to give the texture the current frame of the the current frame of textures. So if the current frame is one, it's going to put the actually the second because zero is one so if it's one it's gonna put the second t the second texture of all the frames in there I hope that's simple enough I'm not too good at teaching anyways and after it's done that so that it moves on to the next frame we need to say current frame plus plus and that'll add one onto current frame so it changes the frame to this frame and then it it goes to the next frame and then it goes to the next and so on and so forth. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five and run through the frames. Um, and here we go. So if, now we need to do an if statement. If a stop, which as you can see we, we did earlier, which is false at the moment and it will be always, if stop is still equal to false, um, then you want to start the coroutine again. Restart core there we go. Start the core routine again. Um, and that will loop it. So it'll just be an endless loop. It'll be going on every it'll go and it'll go and put a new frame in. Go again, do put a new frame in, go again, put a new frame in, so on and so forth. And ta da. So uh, there's something else we need to do. Oh yes. We need to stop the this code running if we run out of frames to uh, to show oh yes there's one other thing we need to do I'm terribly sorry uh, the other thing we need to do is give a public boolean Oop, I put it I always put a capital P on there a capital then bool loop Oop. so this is um, if it's true the animation will loop if it's false the animation will not loop so, in here, if the the current frame is the current frame is a number now, okay? If the current frame is bigger than or equal to the frames dot length, so oop, dot length, um, then it'll do something, All right? So this is the length so in other words the the frames dot length is how many frames we have in our texture frames variable here so how many frames we're holding basically so if the current frame is more than there more than the amount of frames that exist then do this and then if loop which we've defined earlier if loop is equal to false so it's not it's not allowed to to loop then stop will be equal to true which will obviously stop playing the animation else so in other words if loop is equal to true um, then the current frame will be reset back to zero because zero is one right so that's pretty much that oh no no sorry we've been very stupid there's some things we need to do in in the start function here First one being, we've got to set the current frame. 
by default to zero. And then the seconds to wait. Oh yeah, we gotta calculate the seconds to wait. So the person puts in the frames per second they want the animation to play. And that needs to be calculated into how many seconds this coroutine has to wait uh, before it plays the next frame. So seconds to wait is gonna be equal to one because one is one second. So one second divided by the frames per second. So that um, if you put in two frames per second, it'll divide one by two and you'll get 0.5. So this animate thing will wait here 0.5 seconds um, before it plays the next frame. So that's that. And then the next one is to start the actual coroutine to actually play the animation in the first place. Animate and then Sorry. Okay, so that's that. Um, so we can jump back into Unity now. And here's our code. I'll load it up. And we've been given an error here. Where's my error? It says there's an error somewhere. I can't find it. What does it say? Assignment in conditional expression is always constant. Did you mean to use okay one minute line 27 line 27 that's here I haven't oh okay okay I need to do that there we go sorry about that all fixed <coughs> right now um, do -do 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 -do. so go to the plane here and uh, we're gonna put the animation script onto here. Also you want to change the the first um, the first frame to number one here. Oh by the way I don't know if you can see that but see there's a white line there. That is because I didn't put the transparent layer on in GIMP. I forgot to do that when I made these frames and that's why that's happening. If you put the transparent layer under your sprite that will not happen that white line there. That's the edge of the plane. So just be warned of that. Um, okay. So in our animation script, I'm sure you can see it here. Uh, it says FPS, which is equal to zero. We're going to write that as 30 frames per second. It's fine. Loop. Do we want it to loop? Yes, we do. I'd imagine we do. And the frames, as you can see, is written as an array. Now we have 10 frames, so we're going to write 10 in the size. And look what it gives us! so amazing I think that's fantastic anyways and as you can see element 0 is 1 so 0 is 1 1 is 2 so we're gonna drag these in one by one it shouldn't take too long I assure you um, so this is an array while I'm doing this arrays store lots of information they store an array of information um, and that is how they work they're very useful anyways so there is all our frames um, installed in there. So now we just click play. Look at that! Our animation is playing, and that is that. And I do apologize for those white lines. That is my of my own error, and I've taught you, taught you. Sorry, I've taught you how to avoid that, so you don't need to have that issue. But that's it. That is animation and 2D in Unity, and we can move this around while it's playing. But you could have a man with a, a walk cycle in pixels walking around um, on the screen, and then you could move the plane around using, I don't know, get axis or something, and that would be 2D in Unity. And just to show you that the loop is working, if I uncheck loop, like that. See, it only plays once. It won't play again. That's fantastic. Anyways, so that is pretty much that. Thank you for watching, and I will, I think I'll upload this code file with the video so you can download this code file. I can't upload everything, but I'll, I'll upload the code file so you can just check it out. Um, thank you for watching, and I, please give me your comments and your feedback on how you thought uh, this tutorial was useful and also what you intend to use and how you intend to use this uh, this information it'd be very 
very interesting for me to learn that. So thank you very much for watching, and like, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, stuff that people do on um, on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, that is that. Thank you for watching.